All right, Shovelhead 8, welcome to Cast Iron Wednesday Challenge for the month of July 2023, which uh, is from these original lists from years ago uh, when she came up with the idea for Cast Iron Wednesday, and it was uh, barbecue sauce and barbecue. There's a lot of extra junk on the cupboard because I haven't cleaned up for it. Been a busy day, long weekend, eh? So, happy 4th of July, happy 1st of July, blah blah blah. Work doesn't go away because it's holidays. Anyways, that's what mom used to make us. So, ketchup, A1, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of butter, which is frozen because nobody said anything that told the butter was gone. And a little bit of onion that we're going to grate in. Mom used to use the, the onions at onion soup mix, but I'll cheat and use real onion. So anyways, we're just going to throw this together and uh, then after we'll do some breakfast. I don't have a smaller, uh, a smaller uh, cast iron pot to use. Oh. And no recipe to follow either, so we're going to rough it. The mom didn't have spicy ketchup either. Now we we'll shoot some of this in. You can always add more. That's good. And we'll upgrade into finally great smelling. Maybe not. I'll add a little more off camera. I just want to get this in the, in the stove and uh, let the flavors come together. Then a little bit of vinegar because we have no cider vinegar. Never been a big thing here at this place, so we never have it. Frozen butter. I hate it. Okay. Oh, that should be good. Anyways, on to the stove. And we'll skip the rest of it. So we're ready. Okay, let's throw our burgers on. I like them big and thin. Of course, the buns I have are big and thin too, so. And they won't take very long to cook. And you can guess what these are for. Anyways, I'm going to get rid of this stuff here. And uh, we'll be back in a flash. I guess I could have shut that off. Okay, we're going to flip them and sauce them.
Okay. Get some sauce on them. We're not gonna go crazy, do we? Back when we're ready. The great hunters here are after chip, tiny little chipmunk. So they're showing him who's boss. So we're putting some cheese on. And we're going to flip our buns. Close the lid. Shut everything off. And we'll be back. Okay, cheese is pretty well melted. So we're going to take these off and go inside. Didn't want to over melt the cheese and just let it run off into the barbecue. I hate cooking barbecue. Anyways, we'll be right back. Okay, let's get this plated up. We have these uh, thin hamburger buns and so we're going to get some fried onions for in the bottom. barbecue sauce here on the top. Uh, a little bird helping himself to the taste testers uh, chair. A little bit of raw onion. And that's about it. It's good enough for me. Anyways, there's our plating. And now we're ready for the DIY Dark Matter Taste Test. So we'll call the DIY Dark Matter Taste Testers and get them ready. And here they are. Jonah. And Harper. We have another couple hamburgers in there to mix with the dog food after. Here's these ones didn't last very long. Oh well, clean plate club. Now it's my turn. Alright. Now it's Timmy's turn. The other two are eating their regular dog food with added little hamburgers. And they're good. As I said, that was the barbecue sauce my mom used to make first. Last time on Wednesday we started by Native Tears, which keeps the playlist and the link will be down below. Check, check out Steve Dutchie's cooking and it's going to be down below. 
There's a use your monthly challenge, but you don't have to do the monthly challenge. And uh, just about anything goes. So, as it's, as it's a barbecue, cast iron grates on the barbecue were fine. That's what I use today, all in a cast iron frying pan for the onions and uh, cast iron pot for the barbecue sauce. So anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next week.